तो हाय एवरीवन माय नेम इज शिवम बोरा वेलकम टू द ऑफिशियल चैनल ऑफ कोड शिफ सो इफ यू वांट टू लर्न एंड मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिदम्स और इफ यू वांट टू डू रियली गुड एट कॉम्पिटिटिव प्रोग्रामिंग देन दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू नाउ बिफोर वी एक्चुअली गेट स्टार्टेड हेयर इज अ क्विक रिमाइंडर फॉर यू टू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवंट ऑलरेडी येट सो द प्री रिक्विजिट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स इज द बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस एंड the following data structures and algorithms now the problem with arrays is that we cannot increase or decrease the size of the array right and also while declaring this array this size would always be constant right so if i want to insert extra elements inside this array after it has been declared so what i can do is i can use another container called as vector so to use a vector we have to include this header file called as vector and to declare the vector we simply again have to write vector then the data type of the vector elements and then the vector name right here we have created a vector v right so a vector is simply a dynamic array which means that we can increase or decrease the size of the vector hence we can insert elements inside this vector or we can delete elements from this vector right so in this particular line i haven't assigned a size to this vector v so by default this vector v is empty so its size should be zero right so to print its size i'll simply write c out v dot size right so this should print zero so here we can see that it has printed zero right now if let's say i want to insert some elements inside this vector so for that i'll write v dot push underscore back then the element to be inserted so let's insert 4 and let me copy this right and insert 5 and 6 so we have inserted three elements inside this vector 4 5 and 6 so let's just let's just print them right so for int i colon then vector name so vector name is v and then c out i space right so if i run this code now then here we can see that the three elements 4 5 6 have been printed right now if let's say if let's say i want that this vector should have a size or it it, it should be assigned a size right so let's let's say i want that or or i want to create a vector of size n so for that firstly i'll create a variable n and i'll store the input inside this variable n and here after this we i'll write round braces open round braces close and inside it i'll write n right so now a vector of size n has been created right the default values of all the n elements inside this vector would be zero right so let's say our input is uh, 3 so till now till the declaration part the size of this vector v is 3 then the fourth element or the next element to be entered inside this vector is 4 then 5 then 6 right the first three elements inside this vector would be the default values which would be zero right so if i run this code now then here we can see that a vector of size 3 has been created and all these three values are zero by default and then we have added 4 then 5 then 6 right so then 4 5 and 6 if i want to assign a default value to to the elements of this vector then after this n i i simply have to put a comma and then the default value so let's assign a default value of 3 so if i run this code now then this default value would be 3 right now let's say i want to initialize this vector v right so for this let me remove this first and this n also so to initialize this vector i'll write v equals to curly braces open and here i'll enter any any five or any four values so here i have entered these five values inside my vector v right so let me run this code 
so here we can see that these five values are inside my vector v right so if i want to delete any element inside this vector so for this i need to create an iterator so i'll write auto it and i'll point to this iterator to the element which has to be deleted right so let's say i want to delete this four or let's say i want to delete this two right so this two this two is two after the beginning of the beginning of the vector right so i'll write v dot begin right so v dot begin is pointing to this zero so this would be v dot begin plus one and this would be v dot begin plus two right because this is the second location after this zero so i'll write it plus two right and now my iterator is pointing to this two so to erase this two i need to write v dot erase then the iterator it and now this v dot erase function would delay delete this this the element which is stored in inside this iterator right or inside this memory location that is pointed by this iterator so if i run this code now then here we can see that two has been deleted right this two has been deleted now let's say i want to delete all the numbers starting from one and till this four right so firstly for this my vector or my iterator should should start from this one so this is v dot begin plus one so now my iterator is pointing to this one right so to erase till this four i'll write v dot erase it comma it plus how many elements do we have to delete i have to delete one two and three elements so i'll write it plus three right so now this would delete three elements starting from this iterator right so if i run this code now then one two and four would be deleted right and the only two elements that are left in this vector now are zero and five right so our output is zero and five now for the next part i'm assuming that you have some knowledge of heaps but if you don't know what a heap is then i'll attach a link in the description or as a pinned comment from where you, you can learn it right so now to use heaps again we have to include this header file called as algorithm and if let's say i want to convert my vector into a max heap so for this i have to write make underscore heap then here i have to write v dot begin comma v dot end so now this would convert my vector or the element inside my vector into a binary heap or into a max heap right so if i run this code now then here you can see that the vector elements have been converted into a max heap right similarly if i want to convert this vector into a min heap then after this v dot end i have to put this greater int function right now here we can see that this array has been converted into a min heap right so now let me again convert it back to a max heap so here we can see that this is again a max heap right now the interesting thing about max heap is that the first element is the largest element right so let me add another element inside this vector so for that i'll write v dot push underscore back right and let me insert seven so now seven has been inserted inside my vector so if i run this code now then here we can see that this is not a max heap because seven which is the largest element over here is not at the very first position right so this is not a max heap now to again convert this vector back to a max heap or to again convert this vector to a max heap i have to write push underscore heap and here i'll write v dot begin comma v comma v dot end right now to again convert this vector back 
to a to a max heap we can also use make heap function right but the time complexity of this make heap is big o of n while the time complexity of this push heap function is big o of big o of log n right log n so if i run this code now then here we can see that this is a max heap right now the only assumption in this push heap function is that the only assumption in this push heap function is that the array or the vector in in this in this vector except for the except for the last element the rest of the vector is a max heap right this is the only assumption inside this push heap function right so that's why this this push heap function works in log in time complexity right and if the if this condition is not fulfilled that except for the last element the rest of the, rest of the vector is not a max heap then we have to use this make heap function right now the opposite of this push heap function is the pop heap function right now what this function would do is it would simply take the maximum element it would it would store it to the very end of this vector and it would convert the rest of this vector into a max heap right so if i run this code now then here we can see that the maximum element is 7 which is at, at the very end and the rest of the vector is a max heap right so to remove the last element we can simply write v dot pop pop back and this would simply remove the last element right so here we here we can see that now this is a max heap right now except for the declaration part rest all the things that we did on arrays can also be done on vectors as well right and in the exact same way now here we can see that i created an array of pairs so if i want to create a vector of pairs i'll write vector then pair then the the type of the first data element inside this pair then second and then the vector name right then the vector name so i'll write v over here since uh, i want to create a vector of size 3 so i'll write 3 inside the round braces right so this is basically how we will create a vector of pairs right and we can assign this vector of pairs in the exact same way right as we did for the array we can also reverse the vector using this reverse function in the exact same way instead of writing the array name here we have to write the vector name right similarly we can also sort the vector we can also find the lower bound or the upper bound of the vector in the exact same way and apart from these algorithms we also have algorithms to find the minimum element inside the vector the maximum el element the count of a particular element the summation of all the elements inside this vector and so on right so if you so if you want to know more about stl algorithms then simply google search stl vector algorithms or stl array algorithms and if you want to know more about the functions on this heap right then you can simply type heap functions on stl as well and there you'll find all the functions that are related to that particular topic right